Hey everybody, how you all going? Um, Doug here. I'm finally getting around to putting my 13B um, PP back together. Um, wanted to get it back together a bit sooner um, than this, but never mind. Here we are today, it's all sort of uh, ready to go. Um, so I've got everything sort of laid out on the bench over here. Um, so all the seals here sort of laid out ready to go. I've got new new corner seal springs, new side seal springs, and we've got some much better secondhand carbon apex seals. And I've sort of just made sure they're all sort of clearance to each of those slots, um, which is really, really good. Much better than the ones that came out of the engine. Uh, the ones that came out of the engine were really, really sad, but um, that was to be expected because uh, they were questionable when I put when I put them in, being that it's just, you know, just a thrash motor, to be honest. And um, But these ones should be much, much better. And we've also got some, um, some new apex seals springs as well um, which is cool um, we've got some much better oil control rings oil control casings here the ones that came out of it were you know decent um, but these ones were some second hand ones that I had which are a bit better so I'm going to use those um, so here's the engine here um, just gave the plates a bit of a, a wet and dry you know just to clean them up um, you know get that sort of dull dull finish on them um, clean the housings up a little bit as well um, you know rotors just got checked and sort of washed um, Checked all the crank run out and stuff, so all good. Gave it a very you know light polish, got some marks and stuff on it, but you know, should be fine. I redid the um the devcon and the housings here, or just in this housing really. Um this one was still really really solid, so I just gave it a just gave it a good scuff and a cleanup. So it's really really good. Just gonna go together with a new o-ring kit. Um don't know if I'll get around to doing the front stack today, um, but we'll see how we get on. So see so yeah, that's about it. So um just gonna do another just gonna do another little time lapse video for you guys and um so please sit back, hope you all enjoy it, hopefully I don't screw anything up. Um you never know.
set, set, poor, good boy. There you go. You crazy dog. You crazy. Hey, okay. what do you reckon? Hey, okay. no good? Terrible, noisy, you hate it. Hey, okay. oh, good boy. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so we got the block built, really really happy with how it went. Um, we're just gonna dummy up, I'm just gonna dummy up the front stack now and just um, check the engine's end flow. Um, Rumble was a fantastic assistant when you mate. I really appreciate all your help buddy. Let's get it done. Check the mic and make sure it sound right boys. Sound right, boy. Alrighty guys, so, um, we've got the block built, um, turning it over by hand, um, the compression pops sound nice and even, uh, so that's always a, a really, really good sign. Um, I've still got to do the front cover, set the front stack up properly, uh, rear counterweight, uh, sump, all that sort of stuff, but I'll do that uh, later this week. Um, you know, like I said in my earlier video, I think, um, you know, this, this motor, it's nothing flash. Um, you know, just make do with what I got, and uh, but I am really looking forward to just getting out and having a lot of fun with it um, coming up very shortly. I'll definitely make sure I do a, a first uh, startup video uh, when it comes time uh, to fire it up. I'm really, really looking forward to that day. Um, pretty sure my neighbors are not looking forward to that day, um, but we shall see. But yeah, thanks very much for watching. Um, really, really appreciate it. I do hope you enjoyed the video. And if you're out and about and you see me around, um, you know, please be absolutely don't be a stranger. Come over and, and say, say good day. Love uh, meeting new people in our awesome Rotary community in, over here in Kiwiland. So cheers, stay safe, take it easy. Mm -hmm.